Hello everyone, welcome to MDLR Fishing. This is the sidekick from Aluma Cart. It's 100% uh, American made with aluminum. That's some high grade stuff. The entire cart minus the wheels down there. Uh, those are actually steel and through the course of a year's worth of use, uh, they have started rusting, but uh, they're still completely usable. But the uh, remainder of the cart itself from the axles to the framing and the bed, the rod holders, all of that is 100% aluminum. The uh, hardware that they use to fasten the cart is some high quality stainless steel and uh, all of that is pretty good to go. Uh, no rust on any of that stuff. You got 10 rod holders, uh, two at each end of the cart, which are just vertical, and then six of them, three on each side, of the cart are angled so that whenever you're going through doors, like if you're gonna go fish on a pier, uh, you can clear the doorway with a standard, like maybe seven to eight foot rod. Uh, two piece rods are definitely gonna go through there, but uh, I thought that was pretty neat that they angled them. So they thought of everything whenever assembling this thing. Right down there where it swivels on the front wheel, uh, we've got some marine grade grease and uh, we're probably going to put some more on there for the second season of use. But this cart is really nice, y'all, and uh, the rubber on the tires themselves are they're high quality. Um, I bought some from Amazon, not wheels, but another cart from Amazon in the past and uh, it was nowhere near the quality of this cart right here and uh, as we continue going through uh, just taking a look at the construction uh, of the cart itself inside those rod holders you can see that uh, they've got that little round peg down there to not allow the the butts of your rods to fall all the way through but just a really nicely made one and uh, it comes in at a, uh, a hefty $650 price tag. But on the website, I believe they say that you're gonna get a lifetime guarantee with it. And usually most things that are made in the USA are gonna come at a premium cost. Uh, this right here is what it's replacing, $210 a Gorilla Cart. Now this one was a lot bigger and it boasted a heavier like payload for the cargo that you're gonna be able to carry. But whenever I use this thing for three months, it was already toast. This is made from steel. They said like heavy duty steel, I think is what it's advertised as. And uh, yeah, it's a very heavy cart. Right here, we're gonna assemble the sidekick and uh, with the, con the instructions that it comes with, it's pretty straightforward. Everything was handmade. So after ordering it, it took a little while for me to actually get it in. And uh, once it did come in, uh, I was pretty impressed with the like uh, putting it together time. Uh, it really didn't take much time at all. And all the hardware, it, it came with everything that you're going to need to assemble it. But uh, I would suggest using a wrench and a ratchet to kind of speed things up. And so there we are just putting it all together. Uh, again, straightforward process. And uh, in no time at all, we had this thing already assembled and ready to go out on its first trip. Um, one of the things that I noticed was the tires themselves are, they're pretty heavy duty in comparison to that Gorilla Cart. Uh, after three months of use, one of the tires on the Gorilla Cart actually separated, the tread separated from the tire itself and I had to go to uh, one of the hardware stores to purchase another one and uh, get that replaced but these right here I've had no issues whatsoever uh, right here we're going through and taking some measurements because everything on the Alumacart website uh, really didn't give me an idea a warm fuzzy on what I was going to be able to carry uh, as far as its dimensions and then how big of a rod was like the butt of it was i going to be able to put inside those rod holders and then the bed of the cart itself uh, i wanted to get an idea because uh, i have a generator and then my fish bag plus my uh, bait bucket 
I just needed to know how much of that I was going to be able to take with me. And then the clearance right here is uh, for putting it inside the bed of my truck. I've got a kayak rack that it's got to slide under. And so this right here, for those of y'all that are going to be considering it, uh, will actually give you a, an idea of the dimensions on it. Like it's clearance right there, 15 inches is where the, uh, how high up the cart rides. And so you get an idea. Now, the remainder of the video, it's just going to show you some clips on how we configure things. Uh, this right here is just showing that the it, it being aluminum, it is a super lightweight. One person can uh, clear it uh, to the truck bed and then off the truck bed by yourself. And um, the steel one from Amazon was super heavy you would actually need help it was it was a definitely a bulky uh, item that uh, had a lot of weight so yeah uh, without another person there with you to help you out you were gonna probably hurt your back and then uh, just have issues trying to like load that thing up onto the truck and then uh, whenever I mean, yeah it, it was just it was pretty tough, so I'm pretty sure y'all get the idea. But yeah, so you can see right there, um, this is the nighttime stuff that we actually take out there. And uh, I wish I would have did a better job on uh, capturing some of the clips, but I just pulled from a collection of uh, videos that I have already filmed to kind of show y'all and give you a sense. There's the generator right there. Uh, it's a Honda um, 2000 and it fits inside there. We've got that one gallon uh, tank of gas and uh, there's the tripod with the lights. We got a, a 1000 watt spotlight and then four uh, floodlights that we use to light up the area so that everybody can see uh, what's going on. And then that is the bigger bait bucket that we usually carry with us. And uh, whenever we uh, catch bait there, at the jetty rocks you can just throw that inside there i'm just trying to give you all a sense of everything that will load this cart up now a 400 pound payload capacity it is massive whenever i tried doing the same with that gorilla cart uh the way the tires were made they were fairly rounded these are square uh, they they provide a lot of traction and uh, it just felt a lot better pulling that generator with the uh, the bait bucket full of water um, it was an easier task with this sidekick cart right here compared to the gorilla one and uh, yeah so there's a fish bag or actually two fish bags right there uh, with ice and then some of them are going to have fish later on during the day but uh, right here we've got six or what is that five rods actually in the uh the horizontal not the horizontal but the diagonal holders and then with the use of those uh neon yellow those uh like their twisty ties uh, we were able to put uh, the chairs the little folding ones so i mean this thing is a donkey you could literally load it up and uh, just weigh it down as long as you distribute the weight evenly so that it's not heavier to one side versus the other then uh, yeah you can get an idea of what you can do right there so hope you enjoyed this one and if you did and you don't mind click that thumbs up button until next time tight lines y'all